the system broken tonight? A mom shares her concerns, afraid for her son who's in the custody of Child Protective Services. She says she's afraid her son could be next after the recent death of four-year-old Anaya Day Garrett. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Shookman. I'm Chris Tyen for Russ. Channel 3's Jennifer Ah talked to her tonight and other concerned parents. Jennifer, so many people are fired up about this. Tell us about it. Yes, Sarah, Chris, the Cuyahoga County Council meeting tonight was very heated, starting from this mother you're about to hear from who is afraid for her son to the friends of Anaya Day Garrett and other families. They all agree changes need to be made. Lasagna Medlock stood in front of the Cuyahoga County Council pleading for her son. I'm terrified for my son. Medlock says because of a DUI, she lost custody of her son. Despite getting help for alcohol addiction and following directions issued by the courts, she told the council she has yet to be reunited with her son. Her biggest concern, that he's not being properly cared for by her stepbrother. He's being burned. And nobody knows anything except for this guardian at litem that didn't notify anyone. She shared with us these pictures of him with burn marks. Something is systemically wrong within the Department of Children and Family Services that 45 children within the last two years has lost their life. How do you answer for that? In the most recent case, four-year-old Anaya Day Garrett died from a blow to the head earlier this month. Daycare workers say they spotted 14 injuries over the past several years and reported it, but the system failed her. County Executive Armand Budish gave his condolences. I know many of the people here today are here to speak about the uh, murder of Anaya Day Garrett, which is a terrible tragedy. I've appointed an independent review panel of six respected local and national experts. The panel has already begun the review on whether the staff followed the department's policies, if the staff responded in a timely manner, and whether solid child welfare practices were in place. You could have investigated this while they were alive and we could still have these babies. Now, we reached out to CPS for a comment on Medlock's case, and they said they could not comment. Meanwhile, Anaya's mother and her boyfriend remain behind bars, charged with that little girl's murder. And moving forward, the county executive says he has asked his independent review panel for recommendations on how to prevent this kind of tragedy from happening again. In the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Ah, Channel 3 News. Jennifer, thanks.